take away the biggest part of me. This is the tired. This is the tired. I be tired me. Me be tired I am. I am so tired. I was up at like, up at, I was up until like 4 o'clock or something this morning. And you know, you know when you're still up and you know you have to get up in like, a few hours and then the panic sets in and once the panic sets in there's no way you're gonna go asleep. The um, postman delivery truck thing you know who delivers all the parcels and stuff he couldn't get in past the compound gate so I let him in and then I waited to let his like big trucky thing in so then he stopped and he was like oh uh, you don't happen to be and he gave me some addresses he was like you were nice to me so you know I was like oh because that was what I mean he would have just like given me the parcels there and then My name is Joe, Joe Fest, from the Coney Joe, breaking it down on my way to work on a Tuesday morning. Very tired. I've been born, yo. As I was saying, before we got really interrupted, my impromptu rapping, um, do you guys have in the morning time, you know when you're getting up and you're leaving in the morning and you sort of repeat yourself at around the same time every single day? Do you ever notice the people that do the same thing and do you ever use those events as uh, time guides? For example, the postman, the, all the postmen come to our like, because we live in a kind of area. <laughs> you live in a kind of an area, Jervis? I do actually. No, bravo, thank you. So in this particular area, um, all the postie men and vans and stuff all come at the same time. So I always know that when I see them, that that means I should be gone. And I should be leaving as they are kind of arriving. So if I see them coming, it's like, oh, I should be gone by now. So imagine they actually going ahead and change their time schedule. That would throw me off a little bit. Also, I have the heating set to turn off at half eight. So then I always know, like, if the heating turns off, it's going clunk. It's like, uh oh, I'm not supposed to be here no more. Heating's gone, Joe. Fuss. You got to be good. So do you guys have anything like that? Do you have any? Like when you get up in the morning and you leave, like, do you need to see a certain person? You know, a certain person walk by, like, you know, the guy who has the umbrella and the pink tie. It's like, oh, that means I've got to be out of here. You know, when I was a kid, I remember I used to do things like that as well. Like, I'd be observant and I'd notice uh, repetitions in people's uh, routines. And then I'd, I'd spot them and I'd say, okay, well, they seem to be like... They seem to be quite, you know, tidy with the time. So, you know, you just copy them all the time. I don't know. Do you guys have anything like that? Do you ever see anything, like, similar? You know, let me know, let me know, let me commentos. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not going to make it today, guys. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I got, like, three and a half hours sleep or something. At the moment, I'm all buzzed up because I had a cup of coffee. <laughs> but it's not going to last. It's not going to last long. I'm going to crash and burn. Crash and burn! Also, these frackers, I know it. I know the radio station is just dying to tell me who won the Princess finale last night. The Irish Apprentice finale was on last night. I know when the American won a couple of days ago, um, but the Irish one was on last night, and I haven't watched it yet, but I'm pretty darn sure, I'm pretty darn sure that someone's going to tell me on the radio television. I know it's Red FM. Red FM. Do you guys listen to Red FM? Or this is the. What's the other one in Cork? 96. I think it's 96 FM. I don't know. I don't know what I've been told. But Joe and Ethan, the full fist full. Complete fail. Complete fail. Absolute fail. Absolute fail. Alright, guys. Tuesday morning. And a happy Tuesday morning to ya. I've decided to turn the radio off just in case I actually hear it, which is probably a clever thing to do. As a couple of people had pointed out in the past. Oh god, I can see my own breath. That means it's cold in the car. It's a cold car too. It's a cold car. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys. Any of you guys doing the uh, Project for Awesome? Or do you know what the Project for Awesome is all about? The old vlog brothers. They, uh, they've been setting up some things along with the vidcons and the awesomeness and all the other kind of things that the boys do. Well, this year we decided to get involved. We here at the Sakoni Jolies decided to reach out and help someone in need. So, um, I know Anna yesterday was talking about the Dog Foundation, DWG in Cork. But, uh, I went ahead and I contacted Paws, which is kind of like the dog thing, but they're in, um... They're in Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. 
you know, smart and you know that song. If you're not, you're thinking, what is this crazy man doing? Oh, why is this crazy man always in? So on Thursday, the 17th, we are going to visit the uh, Paw Center down in uh, Tipperary. Um, I made contact with the uh, girl there. And we're just going to bring Albie, the three of us are going to go down and we're just going to like, you know, have a look at it and try and raise some awareness for the uh, the little dogs and the cats and, well, it's paws, so I'm sure it's for anything with a paw, I guess. I got a paw! <laughs> hey, paw! <laughs> My paw! Whip your paws back and forth! Whip your paws back and forth! Yeah, totally distracted here, guys. But, um, yeah, there'll be more information on that coming soon. Project for Awesome! Awesomely, awesomely signing off. Leonard Awesome Voice. So I know all you Cork people or anyone that goes to CIT knows exactly what it looks like. But for anyone that doesn't, you guys want a sneak peek at CIT? So, it was a little less exciting as I thought it might have been. Because I thought maybe there might have been something else going on, being Christmassy and all, but... Nope, the place is pretty empty at the moment, so... That's pretty much what an Irish Institute of Technology looks like. We just got home from our walk, and... I didn't vlog anything because it is dark outside, <laughs> so you wouldn't have been able to see me. There's little Albie. He's still got his coat on, and he is, I would say that he's wrecked, tired, because um, he played with his little friend, who's a Shih Tzu, Molly, and she's so cute, but like, literally they were like, rolling around the grass, and they were going insane, so. That was really cute, and um, I'm glad he got to do that because that kind of tired him out a little bit. And do you want to take off your coat, Albie? Will we take that off? Will we? Oh yeah. Oh my God, I felt so bad today. Um, I completely forgot. This is like completely my fault. But Albie was actually meant to go to the groomer today. And I, com I completely had the date wrong, like I thought it was next week. So that was pretty bad, because um, she called me at like, I think it was like 20 to 10, and his appointment was at half past nine. And she was like, hi. And I knew when she called me, I was like, I just knew that I had messed up and that he was supposed to be there today. So that was so embarrassing. Um, but we can, luckily she had, a little space for him next week so it's actually gonna be next week which is when I thought it was gonna be like I literally thought it was next next Tuesday because it's um, always on a Tuesday but I just got the weeks messed up come here your hair is getting too long mommy should have known just by looking at you okay I can't do this at all you gonna mind the house like a good boy oh you're such a good boy we won't be long Love you. Off to Tesco we've gone today. We have arrived here now. It's kind of like a past tense vlog because we've arrived here already now. Ooh, Christmas trees. Appellini? Appellini? <laughs> Apple Nettles. Nettles. They sting. Is that like stingy tea? Come on, honey and vanilla. We get the honey and vanilla one. I don't want to. I've never had it. Either have I. I'm gonna go crazy, guys. Somebody, I think somebody did say something about honey and vanilla. We're gonna do it. Did they really? They did. Oh, they okay. did. They did, guys. Whoever it was, Here. leave a comment. Junk. If you said something about the honey and vanilla, because I know one of you guys said something about honey and vanilla. <laughs> Watch your shoulder. That really hurt. <laughs> you must be careful when it opens. You. <laughs> Light bulbs. Every light in the house is gone, guys. <laughs> Seriously, for people that like make videos every day of their lives, every single light in the house is gone. So it's time to get some light bulbs. That's a good light bulb. We always got soulless. Yeah, yeah, everyone did like, but I find that they're a little bit soulless. <laughs> hey, look at these, they're clear candle ones. Well, it's always going to come down to price. <laughs> One clear bulb. <laughs> It's only 76 cents. 40 watts. What? There's 60 here. There's no hundreds. No, I don't really do hundreds anymore. I miss the days of the hundreds when we were environmentally ridiculous and irresponsible. But our houses were lit up more. I need some pesto for my tutti. A tutti frutti pesto. Oh, always, always like 
look at the shelves and rows like uh, just just give me a good one just a good one please what guys you guys you would you go for deep clean whitening or maxi fresh or maxi fresh with mouthwash beads I like those ones because they're kind of like as you put put in your brushes oh look the Beverly Hills formula I tried that Ooh. it doesn't work does it not Oh man, but you could be like people from like Beverly Hills. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. You need to get like you know white the strips or something. White strips, but they don't sell them in Europe, which is like ridiculous. So I guys, send us some white strips to our PO box and then we'd have white strips heated. I think this is something that you really need. I definitely think that you should use this every single day because you really need it. I'm, I'm assuming this is, yeah. Yeah, what the hell is that? Retardex. Retardex? <laughs> Is that for retards? <laughs> it's an oral rinse for bad breath, but it's called retard. <laughs> oh goodness. Ah, oh, they're actually gone, guys. Or maybe Tesco put them aside. What do you think? Because all we've got is the gorilla ones. There's no, wait a minute. I think there's one under there. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I think it'll be okay guys. Unless all of you guys have gone out and actually gone to Tesco and bought them all for me. Yeah, and they're gonna get like a flood of them in the P.O. box next week. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Thanks guys. Oh, you're too good. Look how good. What do you think guys? Is it me? Does it represent the floof? Leave a comment if you think we should buy it. I this. really like it on you. You look like a lumberjack or whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Partially bald day and I work all day. My gloves. Yeah, they're nice. They match your jacket. <laughs> Seriously though, like that. I always thought they would look good on you, but I never thought Didn't you would wear them. Stupid, like. No. Doesn't he look good? in I think he looks really good in that. Okay, well, we'll see what the comments say, and as per usual. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It just suits you for some reason. Whatever the audience thinks, <laughs> the audience get. <laughs> you look so cute. Do I? Yeah. Oh, with my hair back in the corner. Off from Tesco we go. Homeward bound, we know. So guys, I just spoke to Gina from Paws, which is the um, the animal cruelty place. What? What? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, oh, goddamn stupid. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding with Joel. I'm just kidding with Joel. So for the um, project for awesome, we're going to. Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. If you don't live in Ireland, you probably don't know that song. But it's a long way to Tipperary. But it's not that far away from Cork. I think you sing that when you're in Dublin because it's probably a long way from Dublin, but it's not so far away from Cork. So, uh, Albie's gonna go there and she said she's got like 60 dogs or something there. I'm like, oh my goodness. So Albie is gonna have himself some good fun. And is probably gonna cry the entire time we're there. As as expected. She warned me that she would probably cry the entire time. Um But I just feel that like, you know, we we got to um we get to represent any charity that we want, you know, it's Project for Awesome, and we thought, you know, well I thought that you know, a lot of people out there are going to be representing a lot of human interest, and I thought, well, why can't I represent the uh, the animals? You know, because, you know, there's a lot of uh, global downturn at the moment, a lot of recessions and stuff, and people don't have money, and a lot of times, the, um, Gino's even saying that, you know, a lot of the dogs get, uh, they get dehomed, you know, because people can't afford to look after them anymore, and, you know, I, I do care about human, I'm a human, I care about my fellow men and women, but still, I feel like someone's got to have a voice for the little guys, you know, and Abby's really important to us. And when Abby lost his eye, we went through we went through a lot of emotion, and, and it was very sad, but, you know, it was true, the, you know, the societies that we came across. And then just watching, I don't know, I, I'm just, it's something I want to do, you know, it's something I want to do. So, we're going to head down there on Thursday, and we're going to spend the day down there on Thursday. So, when I upload the vlog on Friday, um... There'll be a special thumbnail you see, it'll be the Project for Awesome thumbnail and that particular day we'll be down in Tipperary at the Paws Centre checking that out with all the doggies. Where's the doggies? Where's the doggies, Albie? Are you going to see the doggies? Are you going to see the doggies? Oh, you're going to have so much fun. You're going to have so much fun. Oh. And Anna 
is under strict orders. We are not taking all of the dogs home, okay? <laughs> you, you would, wouldn't you? If you saw a little doggies there, you'd be like, well, maybe we'll just take a couple of them. <laughs> Can we have a couple of dogs?